He is Miami's man in the middle. Right side. What a putback. That man is carrying Miami. He's a game changer. He's somebody that makes the game so much easier for his teammates. Embracing his decision to stay in South Florida. Being on a team longer than two years, you know, it's, it really meant a lot to me. Quiero un, un cafecito. He invites us into the space he can finally call home. This is like my first actual house I've ever had in my life. The Miami Heat logo upside down is I saw on white side and you flip it, it's Miami Heat. He's established on social media. <laughs> Out here. And his adversity further connects him to his fans. Hey, Devin, how you doing, man? Good, and you? I feel like people can kind of relate to my story. If something not going your way, don't give up. That approach has him where he is today. White side, look out below! I'm doing what I love. Every day I go into work, you know, this is what I love. Inside the Heat, Hassan Whiteside. <laughs> Welcome to this edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson. Hassan Whiteside has emerged as one of the premier centers in the NBA. In the summer of 2016, he had a decision to make. Where would he continue his career as it is blossoming? He decided to stay where it all began for him, really, as a starter in the association, right here with the Miami Heat. One of the first things he did after signing that new contract, buy this beautiful home behind me in iconic Miami Beach. Hassan was kind enough to walk us around his new home and tell us all about his decision to stay in Miami. What's up, what's up, what's happening, man? How you doing, man? Listen, I just like every now and then I get to the streets, <laughs> roll around, bring a whole camera crew, nice, nice. shoot a show. Thought we'd come so, see you, come man. Come on in, man. Come man, before in. we come in, though, can we talk about it's just a, a koi pond? Yeah, koi pond, man. Uh -huh. uh, the fishes, they gonna come around when I come out here. OK. So they know when daddy's home, <laughs> it's time to roll out. Yeah. Look at this. They're really nice to look at. They're my guys. They're my guys. I heard that. All right, let's walk in. Show me around. I like a modern house. You know, I like the futuristic look. You need a little headroom. You yeah, walk around. I got plenty of headroom. So, 30-foot <laughs> ceiling, so. I see you have a theme. A uh, Lamborghini theme. Yes. Growing up, my favorite car was um, Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, I can't fit in one, so. Uh, <laughs> they haven't figured out how to make nah, one that you can not fit in? Yet. Not yet. So, um, everything pretty much just Lamborghini. Got my 21 pool table, yes, you know. Sir. A lot of people lose on this thing right here, so. A lot of people well, lose right here. Well, when we finish here. this tour, I might be not like one of them. <laughs> <laughs> The focal point of Hassan's living area displays one of his favorite interests, fish. A custom fish tank was designed specifically for him by the TV show Tanked. It's bigger than a wingspan. Oh, man. Walk us through all the life that's going on in here. I got a purple tank. I got a fox face. This is a clownfish. He look a little different than most people know. I got the little Nemo's right here. You know, they, they they small, so they keep to themselves. Now, do you find yourself just sitting here and literally just watching them? All the them? time. I eat lunch, I eat dinner, I look at them, and um, you start picking up their different personalities. What's the most interesting thing that you've learned about fish since? Uh... It builds its own ecosystem. Once I have this uh, over a year or so, you'll start seeing just things appear, like um, starfish. Mm. It kind of takes on its own habitat, you know, and um, watching new life form inside of a tank. It's really interesting, man. It's a great hobby. Scuba Steve, let's get to it. Now, you got to explain the wheel. Basically, the Miami Heat logo upside down is um, Hassan Whiteside, and you flip it. It's Miami Heat, so it was destiny for me to be here. That's destiny, so. Absolutely. You wake up and you come down to this every single day. Yeah. This starts your day all right. <laughs> yeah, man. I wanted to live on the water. This is a manatee zone, so, so you got to be careful around here. I did learn it's illegal to ride a manatee. <laughs> so I, I thought I'd ride up on a manatee. That was you know, nice. Yeah, we have manatees all over here. So um, just having them guys out here is something special in your backyard. Do some dolphins come through? Every yeah, day? yeah. Every now and then, they normally come out in the morning. Okay. You know, in the morning time, around 6 a.m. You know, they like to get out early and play. A lot of this wasn't here. I basically designed the backyard myself. I put the finishing touches on it, and uh, it came out great. Very good. Hey, cuz, where you going to find? Miami. You 
decided to stay, you had choices to go anywhere you wanted to go. What most influenced your decision? Um, just that the winning culture here. The front office does a great job of just putting the right personalities in the locker room. Just beautiful, unselfish play. You want guys that really care about winning and uh, give it their all. It's on Whiteside staying in Miami. Whiteside writes, I've played for eight teams since college. I am not ready for there to be a night. What was it about stability that was so important to you? You guys got to see my house. You know, this is like my first actual house I've ever had in my life. You know, it took me um, 26 years to, to, to actually get to this point. So, so being able to have a house and um, being on a team for longer than two years, you know, it's, it really meant a lot to me. Do you find yourself sometimes thinking back to the beginning? Uh, yeah, all the yeah. time, man, yeah. all the time. You know, I just, I always sit out here and look at the water and um, think about um, the journey it took and um, just kept pushing. James Jackson misses. White side. Oh, yes, big fella. Bringing out his best. I'm not really thinking of, oh, man, it's been this amount of years or this long. I just, man, I just say every day, every day, I'm going to just keep putting work in and um, getting better. At times, it's surreal. You know, but at times, you know, this is something you always dreamed about. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. We're here outside the home of Heat Center, Hassan Whiteside. When Hassan decided to re-sign with the Miami Heat, he announced it on the social media app Snapchat. He loves social media. It's a great way for him to connect with his fans and tell them what's going on in his everyday life, a life that now centers around the great things about living in the 305. I would not want to break in another man's house, particularly when his initials and number are on the table. Oh, come on. Yeah, here it comes. That's right, right there. Don't let the purple rain on you. Oh! Just a touch, just a Ooh, touch. Don't follow it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, don't you miss it. Oh, I needed that. Talk to me nice. Talk to me Ooh. nice. It's a wrap after this. It's a wrap if I miss that one. Ooh, get cozy, get cozy. I can never tell a lie. <laughs> I'm not, oh! This is gonna be the longest pull game ever. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Because we're both really not that good at this. Game is over. I'm not even looking. It's over. Great Congratulations. game, man. Congratulations. Who's a racks it up? I don't want me to work in the house. <laughs> That's how you do it. So, Sean, tell me, what is it that you enjoy the most about living in Miami? The weather is great. You know, it's so much water. It's really pretty. The fans really supportive. You know, it's so much fun to do. You know, the weather is amazing. You have noted that you love to swim. Are you good at it? I'm a merman, so I'm part. I'm like a fish out there, so when I'm in the water, it's just. <laughs> I want to make sure I heard just... you're a merman. I'm a great swimmer. You know, I, I lost one swimming race, and that was to somebody on the best person on the swim team in college. So, did you ever think about swimming competitively, or was it all? Yeah, yeah. You know, I actually did think about it. You know, yeah. I thought about it, and um, you know, it's just it was basketball. You know, I just yeah. it just never really formed. So, when you got your swimming cap from the team, mm -hmm. oh, that was Team amazing. USA. I mean, they yeah. knew that you liked swimming ahead of time. Yeah, the Olympic team, um, uh -huh. they they sent me the cap. Thanks to the swim team, I can now feel like I'm in a game. I got it in my room, so, I mean, I might put it on a day or something. <laughs> Y'all thought I forgot about the land community. I did. You have uh, been very clear that you would like to learn Spanish. Quiero un, un cafecito. Cafecito. What, what inspired the desire? Um, you know, so many people that speak Spanish, you know, I want to increase my thought process. I've been putting the time in, and um, I've been working on it. There we go. He does it with music and blocks. At the game changer. I'm changing the game. <laughs> Is the Rosetta Stone hard? Um, I haven't tried it. You know, uh, it's, a, it's a learning process. You know, it, it shows you pictures, and, um, you kind of take it like a video game, so you get better. It's just more you use it and more you speak it, you know? Nino Lee. Young boy Reed. I just want to get out there and be able to speak to everybody, you know? I met people that um, that's Heat fans that don't really know English, you know? So I want to be able to communicate with them just as um, well as I can with English-speaking fans. Gotcha. I might be built a little different, but outside of that build, I'm a regular person. 
I seen a fan the other day, they was like, Hassan, you the best, you the best, you the best, you the best. I said, no, fam, we the best. Overall, your use of social media. I see there's some things you do like by yourself, sometimes you're with family and friends, sometimes yeah. you're with your teammates. Yeah. Do you like including them in, in your videos? You know, I think they like being included too, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you know, I tell you, I, it just depends, man. You know, it's, um, you know, it's just in a moment. You know, all my Snapchats are in a moment. If my teammates happen to be there, I put them in it. Let them know, y'all. Let them know. Ain't nobody doing it with vlogs. Hey. <laughs> Let's go! We out here. We out here. So if you could snap about this edition of Inside the Heat, 10 seconds or less, what would you say? Um, I'd just be Jason Jackson and cool. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, well, listen, after getting my behind beat here on the table, the least you could do is uh, have lunch made for me. Oh, man, no problem. All right, I appreciate on. it. Let's have a seat. See me in the kitchen.